Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to TFI Cut Tips. This is going to be a quick one. I'm going to show you somebody else's tutorials. Huh? What? <laughs> what? Doesn't make any sense. No, well, they're official Autodesk ones. They're in the product. They're built into Inventor now, and they're, they're there. They're, they're there. There's nothing I can do about them, and they're actually pretty good. So I'm just going to give an initial round of applause to Autodesk for these tutorials. Uh, because they're pretty good. I actually really like them. They've been done very, very well. So these are exclusive to Inventor 2017. So if you've got anything earlier than Inventor 2017, unfortunately you're shit out of luck. You're not going to be able to access these. Uh, but you'll find them when you've got Inventor open and uh, you're at the, the home screen, kind of running idle here. You've got the Getting Started tab at the top and you've got this Learning Path button. When you click that, it gives you a, a pictorial walkthrough of the design process. So you've got uh, sketching, part design, assembly design, and drawing design. It's sort of in a logical order, which makes sense, because sketching is the first thing you would do. You can't do any of these until you've done a sketch and you've created some geometry, so that makes sense. And then you've got this big button here, which is like an introductory video to the full tutorial module. So let's see what this guy's got to say. Autodesk Inventor is a solid modeling design software used for creating precise 3D models. Well, I'm glad you're there to tell me that, mate, because I've just dropped seven grand on something, but I wasn't sure what it was that I'd bought. So I'm, I'm glad you're there to keep me right and tell us what it is that I've just paid for. So uh, moving on. Now, this is the next module. The first module is the sketching module. When you click this here, it'll take you off into a subset of icons, which again is in a logical order. So this vid this is a video to the, the sketching module. It's an introduction to what it is you're going to be doing. And then when you click Sketch Tutorial 1, this is then broken down into a number of steps. So you select start this tutorial and then you've got step one and then you've got step two down to step seven. So step one is the first tutorial in the entire module. So it's sort of setting the scene. It's uh, getting your unit set up right. It's just giving a few explanations to terminology, that kind of thing. And in here you'll find some of the, uh, the things that I love about this, this entire tutorial module that they've put into the product. Firstly, it just opens the file for you. Just, I'll start this again. I'll just start this again so you can see what it what it did there. Sketch tutorial one. Start this tutorial. Boom. Files open. There's no messing about with downloading data sets, extracting zip files, setting project files, hunting for the right file. It just opens it up for you. So well done, Autodesk. That is brilliant. Uh, and then and then another brilliant thing that they've put in here is they've put little red arrows which point to the buttons that it's hoping that you're going to click. So as you, you click play, you follow the video through. So these ones here, have, so the ones that I've seen have got no audio in them, but you follow through what they're doing. And it's like, right, question, I started with the wrong template. How do I change the unit in my part or assembly? Well, you hover over this and it just points to the button. It's like, well, click that and the button that you want to go for is in there. That's just, that's just so useful. It's just so, it makes sense. Another really good thing that they do during these tutorials as well is it automatically switches the ribbon bar because that ribbon bar can be really daunting and complicated to somebody that's never seen it before. It can be quite overwhelming. So if you're currently on the tools ribbon panel, uh, when you hover over something else, it'll just switch it. It just switches the ribbon panel automatically. And it's like, well, that's the button you want to go for now. It's, it's really good. Love it. Uh, a couple of things that I'm not overly keen on. Um, I think that the order of the, the tutorials can be a little bit bizarre in some cases. So step one's kind of set in the scene, which is like, yeah, makes sense. Uh, but then step two, which is the first hands-on sketching tutorial, it's trimming and extending. And when I first saw that, I was like, am, am I actually looking at the right thing here? I, I had to like double take to try and make sense of what it is I'm looking at. But no, that's the first thing they're getting you to do, which I find a little bit curious because in the... I could go. I could probably, from this point on, use Inventor for another five years and never use Trim and Extend. It's one of those functions that you just don't need to do. If you do your sketches right, you shouldn't really need to Trim and Extend. So it's a bit strange that that's the very first thing they get you to do before they actually get you to draw anything. So that's a bit strange. And again, like Applied Dimensions and Constraints, they're getting you to do that before they're teaching you how to actually create geometry. So I think the order of some of them can be a bit funky, but then perhaps there is logic to it. I don't know. I don't know. Somebody who's much cleverer than me has probably designed these, so I'll just leave it at that. But yeah, the order of them can be a bit funky. But either way, they're, they're all, they all make sense. So create sketch geometry. You click step four, opens up the file for you, and then here's all your steps. Step one, step two, blah, 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 pointing to the buttons. And another thing, I mean, look at that. It's even changing the, the button to, to the right one. So there's no click this drop-down arrow, which people get confused at. You're like... Right, there's a button up here, 
click it and it's not there because it's hidden underneath a goddamn drop down arrow well it's just changing it automatically for you so that's your that's your tutorials built into the product they are really good i actually really like them they are aimed at the absolute beginner of beginners uh, if you click the tutorial uh, button here so you've got that was the learning path we were on if you click the uh, the tutorial button you get like a like a search page for all the tutorials where you, you know if you want to know about extrude you can type in extrude hit return and uh, it'll it'll bring back it'll bring back uh, something if you click all skill levels that's another thing i noticed there's absolutely no even though they've got a category for advanced skill levels there is nothing there at all there's no intermediate and there's no advanced tutorials at all it's all novice stuff which is fine that's fair enough uh, but yeah there you go that's the tutorial module built into inventor 2017 i quite like it i think it's pretty good I do quite like it. So that's pretty much it for this video. That's all I've got. Thought I'd make you guys aware that it's there. It's optional if you want to use it. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Toodles.